Like and subscribe to get more content of your favorite subreddit. Am I the asshole for not spending this Christmas in the hospital with my daughter? My 39F daughter 16F has had a sensitive stomach ever since she was a kid. There are certain foods that will upset her stomach to the point where she's unable to stop throwing up. We've seen countless doctors, but so far nobody's been able to give us a clear answer. The only advice we keep getting is to identify all trigger foods and cut them from her diet. We have a pretty good idea of what those foods are. Soda and other carbonated drinks. Chips. Cheetos. And other similar processed snacks. Anything oily or fried and most sweets. Unfortunately, this is exactly the kind of stuff my daughter loves to eat the most. And as horrible as she feels after she has them. She still refuses to cut them out of her diet, which in turn led to her spending a lot of time in the hospital during the past few years. When she was little, it was easier to keep all these foods away from her because I simply wouldn't buy them. But now that she's older, I can't always be there to check what she eats. She eats the greasy pizza at her school's cafeteria. She trades her lunch with her classmates. She goes out with her friends and stops to eat at KFC and so on. And it always ends with her in the ur, crying and shaking because she can't stop throwing up. This was the case on this Christmas Eve as well, when our whole family gathered at our place. And of course, among the many dishes at our Christmas table were some of her main trigger foods, like chips, soda, chocolate and sweets. Now mind you. These were far from the only foods available to her. We also had a variety of home-cooked, traditional dishes on the table, with ingredients that don't upset her stomach, like vegetables, meat, dairy etc. All of them delicious and well-seasoned. My daughter herself says she really likes most of these dishes. Despite this, my daughter chose to eat nothing but her trigger foods. I reminded her that they'd make her feel awful. But she said she didn't care. Because Christmas is only once a year and she just wants to live a little. Well, this ended with her violently throwing up in the ur a few hours later. She had to be hospitalized for a few days and only just got out of the hospital a few hours ago. And unlike all the previous times when something like this happened, this time I chose to spend my Christmas relaxing at home with the rest of our family and not in the hospital by my daughter's side. I kept in touch with her through calls and texts, and told her that if she needed anything I'd ask a family member to bring it to her. But I made it clear that I would not be visiting her during her stay. And well, my daughter didn't take this too well. She cried every time we talked on the phone, begged me to come over, told me how horrible I was for, abandoning, her there all alone and so on. Most of our family didn't take my side in this either. And during the past few days I got called everything from, a little extreme, to downright cruel and heartless. Am I the asshole? Reddit. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe to get more content of your favorite subreddit.